Samantha and Tanya, Chicago police say most of the victims from that early morning shooting in Little Italy were taken here to Stroger Hospital for treatment. Now all of this comes as CPD says more than three dozen people were shot across the city in less than 12 hours. The remnants of a July 4th celebration lie scattered on the ground Friday morning, hours after a shooting left eight people injured in Little Italy. Police say the gun violence erupted just after midnight between two people on the 1300 block of West Hastings. We have some more units over here. There's a crowd over here fighting. All right, we have a crowd fighting 1314 West Hastings. Investigators say the suspects got away. We're told the victims range in age from 18 to 74, and all are expected to recover from their injuries. The shooting comes as Chicago police were busy responding to 20 other shootings across the city since 8 p.m. last night into the morning hours. CPD says at least 43 people were shot, six people were killed. In the Austin neighborhood, police responded to another shooting at 1.45 in the morning. CPD says six people were shot, ranging in age from 15 to 25, with all victims expected to recover after being taken to local hospitals. The overnight violence comes less than a day after two women and an eight-year-old boy were killed in what police are calling a targeted shooting in the Grand Crossing neighborhood around 6.15 a.m. on the 4th of July. Police say two other children were critically injured in the violence. Back here live at Stroger Hospital, Chicago police say no one is in custody following any of these shootings. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.